The things that I was most interested in in college were logic and I was fascinated by how the brain could create new knowledge, what seemed like new knowledge, in associating and in creativity. And those same characteristics of what I was interested in in human thought and thinking are the very elements of thinking that's disturbed in people with schizophrenia. One of the very difficult things about schizophrenia and about having the illness is that all the medicines that we have to treat the illness, we have just discovered accidentally. We have not understood the tissue mechanisms of the illness. We don't understand how the brain makes a hallucination. We don't understand how the brain uh, develops paranoid thoughts. If we knew exactly what the brain mechanisms were for doing that, then we would know what kind of drugs to develop that specifically address those mechanisms. I take a look at the brain of a schizophrenic at work using some of the modern brain imaging methods that we have today. I developed a model for how the brain could generate hallucinations, how the brain could generate paranoia. What I'm hoping to do is to develop a very concrete mechanism for the elements that generate psychotic thinking, and then that would be the basis for new treatments that we could develop in the future. The most important people in this are Steve and Connie Lieber. They've been really leaders in the goals of NARSAT for such a long time that it makes me very proud to be the Lieber Prize awardee.